It's a 30-day solo flight project to bring science education resources to children in Latin America. But one local pilot and organizer of the program called Passage needs your help filling that plane with supplies. Joining us this morning to talk all about the mission and how you can get involved before it takes flight, Lee Giat. And Lee, we have talked to you before. You are quite the man of many talents. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Vic. Yeah, it's good to see you, my friend. So tell me about coming up with this. You are a pilot. You're a, a, a local young man who does a lot in the community, and you decided, I'm going to fly this plane really far, right? Yeah. Yeah. So basically, it just came about as uh, something I wanted to do during college, just using aviation to make the world a better place. And um, that was a few years ago, and I never had the time because of studying and work and, and just trying to, you know, do stuff that 19, 20 year olds do. Uh, I just graduated from UNF and I finally now have the time to pursue it full time and uh, actually explore that as something that I would do for, you know, as something that would be a, the constant in my life, just doing good uh, using, you know, the gift that I have uh, that is to fly. And we're talking about STEM, science and education type backgrounds for children in Latin America. STEM means so much to you because the last time that I interviewed you here, you were traveling all over the world uh, a after getting selected for a program with NASA. Well, you see, yeah, that was actually a uh, program with a TV show on Fox called Exploration Outer Space. We went, uh, I went with Emily Calandrelli. She now has a show on Netflix with uh, um, the Russian space program. We did astronaut training in Russia. Uh, everything that you would do um, before you would go up into space, learning how to fly a spaceship, uh, riding the centrifuge, uh, trying astronaut food, all that sort of stuff. So um, it's definitely nice to have that to share, and it's just a really cool story to uh, uh, be able to tell, of course. All right, let's talk about this mission now. 30 days, it's a solo flight. You've got some cool videos and pictures that you've prepared about it. Give me the logistics here. Where are you going to go? Who are you going to help? Definitely. So uh, the reason it's a solo flight is because we're flying a small plane. It's a Piper Turbo Lance, um, and it can carry over 1,500, 2,000 pounds of a lot of different things, whatever it is. So the reason it's a solo flight is to save the weight and allow for as much uh, cargo in the aircraft as possible. And we're going throughout the Caribbean and Latin America, all the way down to the southern tip of Chile. And the point is to um, bring things to uh, kids in remote areas uh, where normal airliners and, and cargo planes can't really go and of course picking up supplies along the way so we can carry more throughout the trip not just shipping everything all at once but um, you know in, in Latin America specifically it's really important because right now there's an estimated 9% decline in uh, education funding um, there's actually whole revolutions and riots starting uh, throughout the continent because there have been um, government initiatives to just cut funding for education and now you know the whole uh, you know the, we're seeing this whole big thing where there's not enough doctors for COVID-19 there's not enough infrastructure in science to deal with these sort of issues when they do come up so uh, it is important to prepare the next generation and definitely get kids uh, the opportunity it's not really forcing science on them but allowing them to have that opportunity to succeed and pursue those careers in STEM. Opportunity is an amazing thing and we see how far it has taken you you're truly excelling real quickly before we go to break tell people how they can get involved how they can follow along with the journey and most importantly make donations. Definitely. So we have a GoFundMe page set up, gofundme.com slash passage science. And there's a lot of cool stuff that you'll get uh, through donating. We have amazing partners that are making it happen. We have VIP tickets to Kennedy Space Center. Uh, we are now, we actually just confirmed yesterday that we are uh, launching a raffle, six people to do Martian training in the Mojave Desert next year. So uh, definitely donate. Uh, more details on that soon. And I look forward to uh, having you guys on board. Thank you so much. Lee Giat, thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Thanks for having me. Good to see you.